Here is another pap smear. You can see that right away. They're just smeared and stained exfoliated cells. If you would like to look at them to determine whether there are nuclear atypical features to make you suspicious for cervical dysplasia, you can, but I did and there is none. So let's look at for uh, let's look at the cells for other reasons. Well, when you go a little bit higher, you'll notice that there's nice clusters, mostly of superficial epithelial cells. But in some areas where the cells uh, clump, if you look carefully or even not carefully, you can see that there are these little rod-like structures tangling some of these cells or growing in them or near them. In addition, some of these little rod-like structures appear to have these little yeast-like uh, balls as well. Here's uh, a little yeast-like ball. Here's a little yeast-like ball. If a fungus is round and small, it's a yeast. If it uh, sends off a filament, it's called a hyphae. This is a fungus that has both uh, components of uh, yeasts as well as hyphae. The hyphae, if you notice in this section, branch at about 45 degrees. If you notice, there's no trouble finding these little budding yeasts as well. And sometimes uh, the differentiation is made that uh, the hyphae look like there's tiny little septae between them as in places as well, what they call septate hyphae. Depending on all this, you can then get out your little taxonomy book and figure out which yeast do this, but you don't have to because 99 times out of 100, it's candida anyway. And uh, candida albicans is a fungus that's ubiquitous. Everybody has it. I guarantee we all do right now as we sit here. But another thing that we should know about it is that it loves to grow and proliferate whenever there is a moist, non keratinized stratified squamous mucosa, like in the mouth, like in the vagina, and especially when the host is immunocompromised and particularly commonly in diabetics. This is Candida albicans. If we had stained this with PAS stain rather than Papsmain, or if we stained it with a PAS stain as well, these little hyphae here would be very red, and these little buds of yeasts here would be very red as well. Thank you very much.